Hi, I'm Stella and I'm a director at Coverage Book. When you generate a Coverage Book report straight away, you'll recognize a common metric, which is monthly unique visits. That's the total traffic to the publisher site that you gain coverage on. Now, although you'll recognize this type of metric, remember that some platforms may use slightly different variations. So a monitoring platform that you might be using could have total visits rather than unique users. They may also have different time ranges on that. So it's important just to double check to see whether your number might be slightly different when you come over to Coverage Book. It's good to be aware. Now, it's also important to point out that although total monthly traffic is a common metric in PR, doesn't actually say a great deal about your actual coverage or the page that you gained a mention on. So it's not actually that useful for report readers, which is why in Coverage Book, you also see estimated coverage views just along from the monthly unique visits. Now, we've worked really hard to develop a formula that estimates how many people from that total will see your piece of coverage. Firstly, we look at the coverage URL that you give us, and that tells us where the article was placed. So if the article was on the homepage or subsection or deeper into the site, we then look at the size and the influence of the website, and we do that through the domain authority score. This allows us to see how many pages are on that site, so then we can work out how much of that total traffic from the publisher should be distributed across all of those many pages on the site. So, for example, if a website only has a few pages, it's going to be a higher percentage of the overall traffic that will see your page, whereas if a website has thousands and thousands of pages, it's going to be a lower percentage that will get to your specific page. Finally, we look at the live data on that page. So how many times your piece of coverage has been shared on a social platform or engaged within the page, had comments, that kind of thing. That's how we predict your estimated coverage views. It's very much like counting ad impressions on a specific page, which many marketing and communications budget holders will already recognize and be comfortable with. So let us know how you get on with that metric.